Hi, boys and girls. I hope you had a good weekend. We got the chance to get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. It has been hot in Marshfield, where I live. I don't know about where you live, but I'm pretty sure it's been hot there, too. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but I am making this video to introduce our very last spelling pattern and spelling list for the year. We are starting our very last story in our reading book. That's right, the last one. We have gone through the entire first grade reading series together. We weren't all face to face for it, but with being in class together for the time we were together and then the distance learning you guys have all been doing at home, we did it. We managed to make it through the entire reading series. And so, Today, I'm going to teach you about our very last spelling pattern, which is something called a prefix. Now, we learned about suffixes, and a suffix was something that we added to the end of a word. So, if we had the word sad, we could add the suffix to the end of it that changes the meaning a little bit. Remember we talked about L-Y and F-U-L? And our L-Y makes it mean in a sad way. So how did they do it in a sad way? Well, a prefix is kind of like a suffix. It gets added to a word and it changes the meaning of the word. It makes a new word. And, but the difference is a prefix comes at the beginning. So we're gonna learn about two prefixes this week. One of them is the word un, and the other is the word re. So un, when you add it to the beginning of a word, means not or the opposite of. And re, when added to the beginning of a word, means again. Okay, so let's, let me show you some examples of what I mean. I'll keep these up here so that we can look back at them. If I had the word... Oh, I'll use one that I always use with you guys. I, I tell you the to read the story. And then I tell you, if you're done, I say, okay, why don't you go back and re-read the story. So this time when I add the R-E, the re, to the beginning of that word, I'm telling you to read it again. Okay? If the word was... Mm, Paint. Paint a picture. And you would paint a picture. And then I said, oh, you know what? I think that we made a mistake there. Why don't you repaint it? Which means paint it again. So re, when you add it to the beginning, means to do it again. Okay? When you add un to the beginning of a word, mm, how about the word do? I'll tell you to do something. And then I want you to undo it. I want you to do the opposite of doing it. I want you to take it apart, undo it, right? Um, I want you to, if you tie something in a knot, that means you're, you're taking it and you're tying it. And then if you add unto it, it means to do the opposite, untie it, take it apart. We're not tying it together, we're untying it, we're taking it apart. So, simple words. And just adding either un or re in front of these words changes the whole meaning. Here's some more examples. We have the word fold, right? And if we add unfold, it means we're going to do the opposite of folding. We're going to take it apart. We're going to unfold it. Um, let's see. Okay, clean. And unclean. This pig is not clean. He's the opposite of clean. He's unclean. Okay. Um, let's see some examples with paint. All right. He planted and then he replanted. He planted it again. Replant. Uh, let's see. When you have to rethink something, you need to think about it again. Right? So re means again, un means not, or the opposite of. Okay? So our spelling words this week, we have 
a word that you guys know how to spell. We have the word happy. But for our pattern this week, we're going to add a prefix to it. We're going to add the prefix un to the beginning of it. So it doesn't mean happy. It means the opposite of happy. And unhappy, if you're not happy, she does not look happy, right? She's unhappy. She's not happy. She's sad. Unhappy. Okay. And next we have another word you guys know how to spell is the word fill. F Ill. Fill. Okay. And if we add the prefix re to it, we now have the word refill, which means fill it up again. When you refill something, you're filling it again. Okay. Next we have the word tie. This is one of the examples that I used, right? And we're going to add the prefix un in front of it. So now it means to untie it, to not tie it, right? We're going to be taking it apart. We're going to untie. And the nice easy word, do. Everybody knows how to spell that. And for this week, we're going to put a prefix in front of it. We're going to add un to the beginning of it, which tells us that we're not doing it, right? It's now the opposite. We're undoing it. We're taking it, what we've done apart, undoing it. Next, we have the word pay. So here we had our spelling pattern, there are A words, and we know that if it ends with the A sound, it's an A-Y making that A sound, and we're going to put the word re in front of it, the suffix re. So now our word is repay, meaning you're going to pay them again, repay. Okay. Next we have the word dress. We have our dr is our dr, and then eh, and then we have, since that's short vowel, we need double s's at the end. So we have the word dress, but we're going to undress, right? We're not getting dressed, we're doing the opposite. We're getting undressed. And we have the word tell. Again, we've got our short vowel closed in there, so we have our double L's at the end, and we're going to add the suffix, or I'm sorry, the prefix re to the beginning. So it's retell. You're not just telling it, you're telling it again. Good. Next we have open, open, and instead of just open, we're going to add a prefix to change it and make it a little different, reopen, meaning open up again, reopen. Okay, now we have the word wind. wind and we're going to add the re in front of that too and it's going to change the meaning of the word so we're going to wind it again rewind okay. so those are our spelling words that have our suffixes or i'm sorry i keep saying that our prefixes Pre comes at the beginning, right? Pre means before. So prefixes come at the beginning of the word, our un and re. So those are our spelling words with that. And then we, of course, we have some spelling words that are not part of our spelling pattern, but they're still on our list. They're from our high frequency list. And this week we have the word different. It's a long word, but you can break it apart. So we have d, if, fur, and different, right? We can chunk that word. It's long, but we can figure out the sounds in it. And then we have the word carry. So we have carry has starts like the word car, which we all know how to spell. And then there's another R and a Y there, carry. And then carry your backpack. Okay. So that's it. That's our spelling list for this week and this is um, one of the skills we're going to be working on is our prefixes remember un when added to the beginning of the word means not or the opposite of and if you add re to the beginning of the word it changes it and it means to do it again okay so there it is there's your spelling for this week